What's up guys, it's Kicker, and we're back with another Manhua update. If you go to 42 shops, you can buy the physical version of the Chinese Manhua. So it's in Chinese, but you get all of Star Ember's beautiful art up close. This is the third volume and it comes with extra goodies. Be sure to check it out. Also, if you'd like to check out some of my merch, I've got some subtle fandom references. You can go to kickter.shop and that really helps support my channel. Crackle. Pick up your sword, Grand Tutor. Trying to run away? Don't forget, you still owe me an explanation. San Lang, I'll handle this. Ooh, did Shillian just knock Hua Chung's hand away? He's capable. He can handle it. Hot. What kind of explanation do you want? In a world of ancestral grievances and grudges between families and kingdoms, I don't blame you for hating Young An. But Grand Tutor, Tutor. What did my parents and I do to deserve such a response? Response is putting it a bit lightly. He murdered them. Were we not good to the survivors from Shanla? My parents ignored the voices of dissatisfaction from within the kingdom and changed our ancestral policies many times. They always worked hard to bring the survivors from Shanla and the people of Young An together. They wanted peace. Peace is exchanging a little golden horse with the poor boys from next door. I myself was good friends with a lot of the people of Shanla. Even after the Gilded Banquet, I stood up to those who wanted to get rid of the Shanla survivors. Oh shit, Lan Chen Chou is a good boy. Talks a bit much, but is a good boy. My conscience is clean, but I really don't understand. Don't you think you owe me some kind of explanation? I have no explanation to give you. Oh, <laughs> rough. Good, very good. Then pick up your sword. <laughs> okay, I guess that works too. No matter the result, even if you beat me to death, I will never ask for repayment. He is holding his giant sword like a baseball bat. Gaga, it's time to get out of here. Okay, this is what you asked for. Do not come to regret it later. I have no regrets. Chilean just being like, Ugh, okay, I guess I'll freaking kill you then. And Hua Chung is just silently sitting there in the background supportively. Go, honey, chop his head off. Swoosh. He jumps forward. Oh, something is happening. Crack. Chilean skids to a halt. Chencho? He got turned into a Daruma doll. This guy looks stupid in every shape. <laughs> Watch up. Like, what? He's flicking the Daruma doll around after this epic duel that has been centuries in the making is finally about to happen and nope, boop, you're a doll now. And look, he is so angry and he even has a little sword. Sun Lung, this, I really didn't want to hurt him. Don't worry, Gaga, I wouldn't have given a shit even if you wanted to torture him. I just quieted him down a bit. He needs to learn a lesson. This is so good. Hua Chung teaching kids a lesson by putting them into a little ball. And Jillian looks so cute right here looking at it. Let's go. We've wasted too much time. Where exactly are we going? Yeah, where are they going? Oh, green ghost fire. Do you know what this means? Isn't that the green light that roams the dark? Okay, I think this is usually translated in the fandom as night touring green lantern. That's like his ghost moniker, like Hua Chung's is crimson rain sought flower. Yeah, so it's Chi Rong. Didn't you take over his lair a while ago? I did, but he got away and he spent 50 years building a new lair afterwards. Uh, San Lang? Uh, yeah, Sun Long, what the hell? <laughs> when I saw the preview for this chapter, I thought this was some random ghost lady. I didn't realize this was him. Why do you look so odd? He's showing off his shape-shifting techniques for you, baby. Isn't this what the green ghost Chi Rong looks like? Tsk, I told you, he has bad taste. All the ghosts that work for him have to look like this. This looks like Hades' clown Sona. Why bother? Uh, when I attacked directly the other time, Chi Rong caught wind of it all and fled. This time, I'm letting Chen Cho see him in person. Naturally, I can't allow myself to be noticed. So why does Hua Chung want Chen Cho to meet Chi Rong? Hmm. And then Shilian is transformed into a ghost and he is freaking out. He's checking out his black fingernails. It's just way too cute. While that useless guy can't do anything right, he is very skilled at sensing others. The lower level ghosts can't get near him and his close friends are difficult to impersonate. There's only one way to get close to him. Which is... Peisu, that whiny little dog, only has his head up in the clouds because he's riding on Pei Ming's coattails. Does he really think he's worth something? No way! He's nothing but a stray dog with nowhere to go, and yet he still dares to kill my scouts. He's ruined everything! Even if I messed him up, no one would come collect his body. Then there's a ghost here saying, settle down, and it looks like she's leading a parade of prisoners somewhere. Like father, like son. It's a shame that nice girl Xuan Ji went through so much for that shameless guy. We aren't able to save her even now. Tsk, tsk, 
Dad? Oh no, not the baby boy! Pei Ming, what a womanizer! He ought to be cut to pieces, hung out in front of his temple, and fed to the dogs! <gasps> you are scaring the children. Our king is right! Ugh, look at this gaudy green place. <sighs> Step. That better not be a statue of who I think it is. That thing I told you to do, how's it coming along? Has Chuan Yi Jen ended up fighting with that womanizer Pei? She wrong reveal! Is he gonna be hot? Ah, here he is! Ew! That bone, I don't think it's a chicken wing. Okay, even in statue form, Xilian's ass be poppin'. As you asked, we have already spread the rumor that Pei Ming supported Pei Su in becoming that martial god of the West. The situation is bound to get messier. We used this as an excuse to destroy hundreds of Mingguang temples in the north while disguised as followers of the Qiying temple. No one suspected a thing. Ha ha ha! Ew, who's this little ghost child? Eating a hand, oh my god, and eyeball soup! That is eyeball soup! You just don't get it. So many of those followers are quite stupid. Once we started the destruction, they followed suit, and enthusiastically at that. Oh my god, his fingernails are green. Wonderful! Keep adding fuel to the fire! Hmm, looking at him here. I don't like Chirong, but I know some of you heathens do. And I do think he does have the potential to be hot. Chuan Yi Jen can take it, but I bet that womanizer Pei can't! <sighs> it is a statue of Shilian. This is not cool, but I cannot wait to see Hua Chung's visceral reaction to seeing this. I thought all ghosts went by a pseudonym, but it seems this green ghost Chi Rong is really the one I know. I should relay this information to his lordship later to make sure those two officials don't get into any more fights. Oh, San Lang seems utterly handsome in this getup, if you ask me. So now Hualian are undercover as the prisoners. Oh my, there's a young one here. God, no. Ah, dad. Hualian stoically watching as Chirong consumes a child. Little Ga. Ah, no. Now take a look at his dad, because if you know what happens next, you Chirong heathens, this is what you're gonna be simping over. Chirong is actually up to a lot of shit behind the scenes. He loves king with heaven officials, making people think they hate each other, going behind the scenes. I wonder if this is gonna tie in to the drama that is currently happening with Xi Lian. I just love how you can already tell how much Hua Chung does not respect him as a fellow ghost, and especially obviously does not like him for his disrespect to one particular heavenly official. Oh yeah, and the fact he's a freaking cannibal, literally eating eyeball soup. I'm still not over the eyeball soup. Hua Chung is gonna go nuts and it's gonna be great. And Hua Chung is still taking care of Xilian in so many ways. It's really so funny comparing how he's acting on this mission on how he acted during the Banyue arc undercover as San Lang, the teenager. Seeing how capable and strong he is at his full capacity is so hot and considering Xilian already respected and enjoyed San Lang's company back then, imagine how much he's going to like him after this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to stay tuned for the next Manhua update, be sure to hit the bell notification and click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. How many alliterations can you do to describe Chi Rong that start with G? Gruesome green ghost. Gruesome gaudy gory green ghost. <laughs>